Hello and welcome to the ESR objects. So let's look at the ESR objects that will be creating part of the mail adapter development scenario. Okay, so for the namespace, we'll be using a notation F to M representing file to mail and business process will be using as an email notification. Okay, TechiePress will be the software component that we'll be reusing and at the source side, we have an outbound interface. We'll create an outbound interface representing the file with along with the message type and the data type we're going to create a type in esr and then we're going to attach that back to the service interface we'll create two operation mapping will be a simple one-to-one -one mapping just pick up the fields like you know from email address to ml email address subject and the content of the email then at the target side it's interesting to know that mail typically have a defined structure you cannot just define whatever structure you want in order for PO system to send an email, the mail structure has to be a defined structure. So I have attached the XSD to this section of the course. You can download that XSD and use it as a mail notification. Okay, so we'll be creating that external definition and we'll be importing that mail structure, right? And then you have to use that structure so that the mail goes successfully from your PO system. Then we'll create an interface to just represent that external definition. Okay, so let's go ahead and create this interface in ESR. Okay, so here are the objects that we will be creating in the ESR. First, let's go ahead and create the namespace. Go to your software component, open your namespace definition, go to edit and add your namespace. Let's save this. Let's go ahead and create the external definition first, then we'll create the data type from it. So before that, you need to have download this mail.xsd. Make sure you download that. Of change the type to xsd, then you import that mail.xsd okay this is how the mail structure looks like and make sure you follow this standard right import it don't create your structure and use it then you miss out some fields the mail will have some issues going out of your PO system okay so this is the notation that PO internally uses and expect us to create the mail structure in this format okay remember this save it I've attached this mail.xsd to the course. So go ahead and download from there and import in your system. Okay, so let's create one by one now. Let's create our data type. So this one will create very simple, right? We'll say new sub element. I'll say mail. And here we'll insert a couple of things. Let me show you the structure. Right, so we need to from subject and basically the content. So the only we'll create the specific fields in our source structure. Okay. inside mail we will create the sub element called from an element to subject and content okay these are all the required fields that we can map it to our mail structure say all string Okay, let's save this. So this has been created. Right, we make it zero to one.
okay so saved let's create the message type out of this copy this over save this okay let's create the interface now so type out representing the shop floor interface out released attach the message type asynchronous Save. Okay, we'll create target with our external definition. We'll attach our external definition here. This is of type inbound released asynchronous mail apply. Let's save this. Okay, so inbound is attached, outbound is attached. So we have our service interface. Let's go ahead and create message mapping. Okay, so let's do the source and the target. let's pass from to from then to then subject then the content okay so all these mandatory fields not mandatory from structure perspective but you know if you send an email you need to know where you're sending from to whom you're sending what is the subject and what is the content of an email save this Let's create operation mapping and then we are done with the ESR objects. Attach our interface here. Done, let's activate our objects. So let's review it once. Right, we imported an external definition then we created a structure then we created two interface service interface then we create message mapping and an operation mapping okay so this has been done let's go ahead to id and create the objects that before we look into the developing the configuration let's look at what objects will create there let's move on to the ob id object configuration